Yo, 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 what's up guys? I uh, had a really grueling session again. Hard to start off with some beetroot juice and carrot, beetroot and carrot juice, you know, a little bit of water, because I knew what was coming, all right? Really, really, really went in hard on the chest and triceps today. Me and two of my dudes, we definitely killed it, all right? So, on the, uh, we, we were going dumbbells today, right? Because you just want to make sure that you, you engage the stabilizer muscles and you have a uh, balance on, on both sides of the, the chest and tricep. So sometimes it's better to use a dumbbell, right? Now we went from 65 pounds to 75 pounds to 85 pounds and then a touch of 95 pounds, then made my way back down, did 70 pounds and then 60 pounds, right? All of them, every time you do a set, we superset that with some push-ups, right? So as soon as you do the number of reps you want, you drop the weight and you try to do the same number of push-ups as you just did for the presses, right? Like I said, you could do the same number, but if you're feeling froggish, then go ahead and leap, you know? Do a few extra push-ups if you want, right? Uh, so make sure you push yourself with this. Then we moved on swiftly to doing some inclined um, cable flies, right? The whole point of using the cable is so that we keep constant tension on the muscle, yes? And when you're doing the flies, try to bring your, your hand together a bit uh, higher over your forehead. So not, you're not sticking to your chest, you're going over your forehead so you can hit more of the, the, upper, the upper chest, all right? Make sure you really push yourself. Don't try to be a hero and take like some massive amount of weight because unless that's what you can do, right? Because it will be challenging, right? Do push yourself. But if you, if you start a set and you have a number in your head, let's say you want to do eight reps and you're doing the set and then you get to four or five, whatever reps and you feel you can't make it, then don't be afraid to stop, drop the weight down one level and continue to finish off the number of reps you wanted to do. Then we moved on to doing some skull crushes. Personally, when I do the skull, when I do my skull crushes, I like to have my elbow just a little bit further back than parallel to my body, right? Than perpendicular to my body. I like to have my elbows a bit further back so I get a, a really good stretch on the tricep. And then when I do the the, tri the tricep extension for the skull crushes, I get like a really good hit on the long head of the tricep. Right. But that's just me. You can do it by bringing your elbows perpendicular to your chest and then 
uh, bringing the bar down to your forehead. But it doesn't matter once you get it in and you use proper form. Once again, don't try to go too hard and be too much of a hero. Be very careful with the weight and the bar. From that, we moved on to doing some body weight dips. If at this point you still have a ton of energy, then you might want to reconsider the, the, the weight you actually uh, used when you did the, the dumbbell presses and the skull crushes. You might want to increase it a bit or at least up the reps because at this point during the body weight dips you should really be feeling it. You should be more or less drained. You should be struggling to squeeze out like 10 or so, right? Uh, but, but just push yourself, see how far you can go with it. Uh, once again guys, thank you for all the love and support. Please, please, please like the video, share it. I can't really do this without you guys. All right, um, this is a brand I'm really trying to push. There's a lot of big things coming, so I appreciate your support.